Hello and welcome to the second part of this tutorial series of these sensors here and what I'm going to show you to do, I'll show you how to do so, is this amazingly cool project and I think it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, well, being able to communicate between two Arduino boards and I showed you these in the last tutorial. And what I've managed to get them to do is have one board here sending a signal to this board telling the LED to turn on and off. So if I was to now unplug this, the LED stops blinking. If I plug it back in again, it starts blinking again. So this is what I managed to do and I'll just quickly show you the wiring and then we'll go and have a look at the code. So on this one here, this is the receiver. You need to have a pin going to ground, a pin going to a digital pin, I've used 12 and a pin going to positive voltage. And in the other one, same, you need to have this pin going to pin 12, this pin going to a digital pin, I've used pin 12, and this pin ground going to ground. That's what you need to do. Now we're going to go over to the computer and have a look. Now what I've done is this this is plugged into a computer and for a power source I've just used this battery, 6 volt battery, and plugged it in to some pins here. But I've, I've got it to work and I, d I didn't manage to do it at first I found it dead complicated, I didn't get it but it took me a while, I've managed to get this transmitter and receiver kit to work and it's actually really good. Now you may think this is lame, I'm just getting an LED to blink from what using this board to communicate with that. But I could do it with a robotics project next, I could get a robot to run forward, sideways, whatever, when certain buttons are pressed. So this is uh, what it is and I'm not going to show you the code behind it. Okay, here's the code and I'm not going to go into masses of detail about it, but we'll still have on the left is the transmitter and stuff on the right is the receiver. Um, you need to install the library called Virtual Wire, but if you ins if you research it, it should come up. But basically, what it does is it when the transmitter it lights up pin 13 and then sends the signal to light up pin 13, and it does all the stuff like um, starting the receiver uh, thing running and all of that. But if you look at the code, it probably will be quite self-explanatory what each bit does. And then same on the receiver. Um, when it receives a certain message, it will um, it will turn the LED on. But there is some comments on there, so hopefully you'll be able to understand. And all you need to do is download the library and copy that out, uh, and then upload one to the transmitter board and one to the receiver board. Uh, that is all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll leave a link in the description for the product.